Ah, Montserrat. Legend has it that this island holds one of the world's most valuable treasures. <laughs> We have to get off this island right now! This volcano is about to erupt! Who are you and what are you doing here? Are you trying to steal our treasure? No, I am the world-famous explorer and scientist James Hudson and I study volcanoes! We all need to get off this island immediately! Mr. Hutton, I am the great pirate Calico Jack, captain of that ship, and this is Anne Bonnie, Brutus, and Skippy! This map says there is a treasure somewhere on this island and we are not leaving until we find it. Don't you understand the magnitude of what is about to happen? You see that volcano over there spewing all that ash? If we don't leave soon, we may not even be alive, far less able to enjoy any treasure. What makes you think it's about to erupt? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, one cannot predict for sure when a volcano is about to erupt, but there are different warning signs that can alert us as to when an eruption is going to happen soon. What kind of signs? Well, one major sign is earthquake activity. Earthquakes? Yes, an earthquake occurred just before we bumped into each other. And sometimes, earthquakes indicate that a volcano is getting more active. Earthquakes are a sign that magma beneath the volcano may be on the move. And then, a few days ago, I noticed some cracks at the surface of the volcano, showing that it's swelling out due to rising magma pushing out on the rocks. One can also see gases coming from the volcano. If the gases get hotter, or if steam starts shooting up, Chances are the volcano is going to blow, and from what I've seen, that's going to happen very soon, so let's go! What is this magni thing? <laughs> uh, it's not magni, it's magma. Magma! Uh, okay, maybe I should first explain what a volcano is and how it's formed. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's surface from which hot molten rock called magma, as well as ash and gases from deep within the Earth escapes. To explain where magma comes from, I must first explain how the Earth is made up. The Earth consists of three layers. The first layer is the crust, which is the layer we live on, with the land and the sea. The crust isn't one solid mass, but is broken up into parts that fit together like a puzzle. These parts are known as plates. Below the crust is the mantle, which is made up of the hot melted rocks and gases that a volcano releases during an eruption. Beneath this mantle is the extremely hot core of the Earth, which is made up of melted and solid metals. But what causes this magma to flow up to the surface and create volcanoes? Well, most volcanoes are found at the points where the plates of the crust meet. The plates move and ease up the way for the magma from the mantle to flow up to the surface of the Earth. When magma flows over the surface of the Earth, it's known as lava. Sometimes plates move away from each other. This is called divergent plate boundaries, and this creates volcanoes with orange slow-flowing lava, like the ones in Hawaii and Iceland. And at other times, plates move towards each other. This is called convergent plate boundaries or subduction zones. One plate sinks beneath another, and the rocks from the crust go into the mantle. These rocks, along with some of the mantle, melt and turn into magma, which rises up to the surface. This creates some types of volcanoes like the Ring of Fire in the Pacific Ocean, the region with the most volcanoes in the world. Most of the volcanoes in the Caribbean were formed in this way as well, millions of years ago, just like this one here in Montserrat, and also Soufre Hills Volcano. These volcanoes are usually more explosive, with lots of ash and gas and less lava than those volcanoes formed through divergent plate boundaries. But did you know, volcanoes are not only formed on land, they can also be found erupting underwater. These are known as submarine volcanoes, and one of them is Kikem Jenny, which isn't far from here, off the island of Grenada. Over time, the lava from these undersea volcanoes hardens and builds up to make mountains and islands. Okay, okay, so there is a little ash and gas spewing out of the earth. How is that going to bother us? Yeah, little ash never hurts anyone, and it's certainly not going to stop us from finding the treasure. It's not a little, it's a lot. A mixture of very hot ash, gas and rocks will explode out of that volcano when it erupts. It will then travel at great speeds down the sides of the volcano and over the island causing serious damage. 
We scientists call this pyroclastic flows. They can cause death from choking, breathing in the poisonous gases, and severe burns. This type of volcanic eruption is more dangerous because ash and gas can travel faster and further than lava. Unlike volcanic eruptions in Hawaii, right? Correct! The volcanoes there produce fiery-looking lava that streams down the slope of the volcano, destroying everything in its path and usually causing forest fires. Another danger associated with volcanoes here in the Caribbean is what we call ash falls. They can be thick enough to cause roofs to collapse and may result in serious breathing problems if inhaled. This can occur long after the eruptions ended and can even affect nearby islands. And then there's the danger of rocks flying out at great speeds like cannonballs, a hazard called ballistic projectiles. There's also the hazard of debris avalanches and mudslides that can cover entire houses and towns. And then there are lateral blasts, which are clouds of gases and extremely hot rock particles that explode outwards at very high speeds from the side of a volcano. They can destroy large areas within a few minutes. Wow! I never knew that one volcano could cause all that destruction! And that's not even all! There have even been cases of tsunamis that were created by volcanoes. Tsunamis? How does that happen? When submarine volcanoes erupt or land volcanoes create landslides into the ocean, large waves traveling at very high speed can form, wiping out entire low-lying coastal areas and creating devastating floods. Uh, do you guys hear that? Sounds like the volcano is ready to blow! Mates, I think it is time that we head back to the ship! We managed to escape just in time. And with the treasure too. We are very lucky to have missed such a catastrophe. But it's such a magnificent sight to behold. Yes, it is. Despite the destruction caused by this fury of nature, volcanoes do have some benefits. Like what? Well, the steam created from volcanic activity can be used to make electricity. Cool lava can be used in construction, adds fertility to soil, and may also contain precious metals and minerals like gold. Sometimes they even find diamonds deep inside the very old volcanoes. Speaking of gold and diamonds, doesn't anyone want to see the treasure? Oh, I almost forgot about that with all this drama going on. Well, open it! Huh? Rubbish? Rocks? I cannot believe my eyes! This is probably the world's most valuable treasure! Volcanic rock samples! Now I can unlock some more mysteries of this amazing natural wonder!